Hey Calvary, Pastor Jim here, and uh, I've got to tell you, my one-year anniversary is coming up, and I have really appreciated working with my good friend Julie. Um, I have really appreciated your faith in the Lord, your energy and enthusiasm. Man, I, I find myself just trying to keep up with you most of the time. Um, you always are looking for ways to minister to other people and to encourage them in their walk with the Lord. You are concerned about people's physical and practical needs. I mean, and you've just been such an inspiration to so many here in our church as you have faithfully walk the walk and talk the talk so um but god's doing some things in your life and that's exciting and i want to celebrate that with you but we also want to communicate what's going on with our church families so tell us a little bit about what god's doing julie thank you jim that means a lot to me um yes hello calvary family i come to you today with a with a loving heart telling you that um i have made a decision to resign here at calvary this was not an easy decision this isn't something that came just overnight this was bathed in prayer by not only me but my whole family as we sought the lord's will for our lives and uh, 10 years ago we'll back up a little go but uh, 10 years ago, I had went through a horrible divorce and was a single mom and had made terrible choices for you that have heard my testimony. And I had came back to the Lord and was getting my life on track and doing all the things that a single mom needs to do to take care of her little ones. Um, I had gotten, I went to school and, and gotten a really good job and, and, and a car and everything I needed to do when all of a sudden the Lord started speaking to me and said, Julie, I want you to quit your job. I want you to go into full-time ministry and you're going to do it for free. And no one's going to pay you, but that's what I want you to do. And boy, did that come to a huge surprise to me because who in the world would think that a single mom needs to quit their job um, and just go do ministry for free? And so I wrestled with the Lord for a few weeks and um, I said, okay, I I'll do that. And I went and talked to my family and sure enough, they were on board. So you know God's in it then. And so I quit my job and, and that is what led me here to Calvary. And I began to just volunteer around here and doing whatever needed to do. And it led me into the ministry that I so proudly have served in for 10 years, Living Well Ministries. It has been my pleasure and my honor to serve you as a church family and to serve our community. Well, here recently, the Lord has done the same thing. He has spoken to, to me and to my family and said, there's a new assignment and it's time for you to move on. And so I am responding by faith that to, to the Lord, yes, Lord, I will follow your leading. And again, this has been bathed with much prayer and, and, and wrestling with the Lord to make sure that I am truly on his path. He frequently takes me back to the passage in Luke chapter 15 where he says that there are 99, there's 100 sheep and 99 of them are on the side of this hill and they are eating in this pasture but one of them is lost. So the shepherd goes and he, he, find, he goes to find this one sheep that was lost to bring him back to the fold. It says there that that, that there is great rejoicing. He calls his neighbors in and says, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep. Well, the same thing happens in heaven, brothers and sisters, that when one comes to the Lord, when one repents, that there is great rejoicing in the Lord and in heaven. And so at this time, I, I truly believe that God is, is calling me and my family to go do street ministry. We're to go and do street evangelism. And so most of you may know my, Lord, my daughter, Brittany, and she has graduated from college, Moody Bible Institute. And so her and I now are stepping out together to go do full-time ministry of where the Lord leads us in our nation. 
It's no surprise to you or to me as we look around our nation today and see that it is full of fear. It is full of anxiety and worry. And the only thing that's going to be able to quiet that voice, the only thing that brings hope and peace is Jesus himself. And yes, Calvary family, you are doing a great job here. Keep it up where you are serving the Lord and you are seeking the lost. Our motto here is, our, our, our mission here is to help people find and follow Jesus. So you keep doing that. But my call now is to hit the streets, to go into the byways and the highways, to go under the bridges, to go wherever he calls to bring the message of hope, to bring Jesus to the lost. So what I ask of you now is I ask that you would pray for me and my family as we step out into faith. We step out in what God has for us, that he will meet our needs, that he will never leave or forsake us, and that he, if he is there, that all things are possible. So please be praying for us. If you'd like to keep up with my adventures and what's going on out there in our world, you can always Facebook me, Julie McGregor. I'd love to have you as a friend. Um, you are a big part of my story. Thank you for pouring into me all these years. Thank you for allowing me to, to grow here, to learn here, and to lead a ministry that reached so far into our community to love them. I'm going to miss you. This is not goodbye. This is see you later. I will be here in our community. I will be around. So you will still see me. We can still talk. But please pray for me. Pray for my family. We love you very much. Again, this is not goodbye. We are family. We will spend eternity together. This is just I'm moving now to a new adventure. I will be praying for you guys as you are praying for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for loving our Lord the way you do. Thank you for helping build the kingdom the way you do. Now, I'm off to go. My new adventure, be praying for me, okay? Thank you so much. I love you guys. All right, well, we want to support Julie in the way that God is moving in her heart and life and we are so grateful for the ministry that she has had with us here at calvary uh, but we want to uh, also uh, support her in the ministry that god has for her in the future now some next steps julie is still going to be here with us for uh, a few more weeks uh, helping with the transition we are going to be talking with different people within her uh, various ministries to help uh, bring continuity and, uh, and leadership uh, in things like Living Well and some of the other uh, community ministries that Calvary is involved in. So yes, it's a time of transition, but it's not a time of stress or worry because God is within all of this. God's got this and God is going to provide and, and he's going to use Julie in a, in a different ministry assignment that he has for her. And God will provide for Calvary so that we might be able to continue some of the wonderful ministries of outreach that we have going. So please remember to keep uh, Julie and her family and her new ministry in your prayers as well as our church. Thank you so much, my friends and families at Calvary Community Church. God bless you all.